Hello guys and what is up it is True Gaming HD here today and welcome back to another video. So this is a really special one because Rockstar Games has finally released a trailer for GTA The Definitive Edition Remastered. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this now. Uh, as, you, as you're about to see they do show some gameplay. But yeah we're just going to go ahead and have a look for this trailer. I'm just going to let it play out for you. Good job for you pal. They mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town! I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? Oh, yeah! And if he's ratting us out, kill him. Season. Haven't you ever seen a movie? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut up, Carl! Amazing trailer, man. Absolutely amazing. I was nodding my head to that beat right there. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. But yeah, as you can see, it is coming out November 11th. We have got an official release date. It is coming out November 11th for PS5, for Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, which is awesome, and PC, obviously. So, yeah, we've got literally a bunch of stuff to cover today. The game is going to be around, what, £55 for Xbox. I think it's going to be around £50 for Nintendo Switch and £55 again for PC in the UK anyway. So, yeah, it says here, three iconic cities, three epic stories, one definitive edition. Now, they should have said one state because San Andreas is a state. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know that's confusing a lot of people, three iconic cities. So, yes, we will be having San Fierro, Los Ventros, and Los Santos in San Andreas. And, obviously, Liberty City and Vice City. So, um, yeah, as you can see here, we've got some screenshots. We've got uh, a subway train here. And I think that's Claude inside there as well. If you pay really, really close attention, I think that's Claude. And we've got a bunch of civilians here. And this is going to be remastered in the Unreal Engine as well. So, I'm not 100% on this. It does look good. But my, uh, my brutally honest opinion here, it looks too cartoonish, you know. It looks a little bit weird. If you look back at the trade, I'll leave a link in the description below, by the way. It looks a little bit weird. Not a lot, but a tiny bit weird. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the render distance is so much more better as well, man. I'm just so excited for this. But, yeah, experience of games that started it all, introducing unprecedented freedom and immersion through free living, breathing worlds filled with hilarious action, rich cinematic storytelling, classic characters, and unforgettable music. So I do hope they will bring some of the music back because, yeah, apparently some of the music is starting to expire. Like the music license and stuff like that. And it says here, bring in the classic worlds of Liberty City, Vice City, and San Andreas to modern platforms. GTA the Trilo Trilogy, the Definitive Edition, debuts new GTA 5 inspired modern controls. So we are going to have GTA 5 controls. Not the clunky PS2 controls, actual GTA 5 controls. Plus, across the board, visual enchantments such as resolution upgrades and improved visual fidelity across the world and much more to faithfully tune and improve upon all three games, while also maintaining a distinct original aesthetic. Sorry if I butcher some of these words. But yeah, it also says here, the Trilogy Definitive Edition introduces wide-ranging modern control upgrades. This is going to be crazy, listen to this. Including improvements to targeting and lock-on aiming, updated weapon and radio station wheels. So yes, you heard that right. In GTA 5, there is a weapon wheel and a radio station wheel. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this already. And they are going to be returning in this brand new... Uh, remastered thing so it makes me wonder if you look in the top right corner you have the whole weapon hud thing don't don't you it makes you wonder if that's gonna still be there or not you know because what's the point in that being there if we're gonna have a weapon wheel you know so maybe they're gonna take it off the screen and maybe we're just gonna have like enough room to maybe it's gonna give us enough room to actually immerse us into the game take far cry 5 for example basically the reason why ubisoft removed the mini map and a couple other things from far cry 4 into far cry 5 is because they basically said it makes it more immersive and they want to give the player as much like space as possible to look on the game 
And I think that's what they're going to do here. Like, we have the we have the little weapon HUD here. We have uh, the little money thing, letting us know how much money we have, and the health bar here. Honestly, I don't think that's going to be there. I think it's going to be similar to GTA 4 or 5. We get a brand new map here. I don't know if it's going to be the square one from 5 or the circular one. It's obviously probably going to be a circular one. And we're probably going to have the health bar here, the armor bar here, just like uh, GTA 4. And um, if you are planning on getting this on Nintendo Switch... Uh, there's also things called gyro aiming or something like that. My guess is it is motion aiming. Uh, if you ever played Legend of Zelda or a couple other Switch games, basically if you take out your red Joy-Con, you can aim. You can actually like move around the Joy-Con with your hand. You can actually aim with motion controls. And if you're playing on PC, the PC version includes support for NVIDIA DLSS. I don't actually know what that is. My guess is it just somehow makes the graphics more better, maybe, like uh, ray tracing. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. I don't know what that means. And additional new accomplishments. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. Via the Rockstar Game Social Club. Additional enchantments across all three titles include a completely rebuilt lighting system, improved shadows, weather and reflections, upgraded character and vehicle models, along with new higher resolution textures across buildings. Now, I've looked at a couple of the images on Twitter, the new character models, and I must say I'm not really that much of a fan of them at all. I'm going to give Rockstar some slack though, because the trailer is obviously, you know, the beta version, it's not the final version yet. They're obviously still developing it, they're still adding shit to it and stuff like that i'm gonna cut them some slack but i do hope they kind of work in the character models a bit here because as you can see uh, i'm showing you some screenshots right now via uh editing and my god I, <laughs> I don't really like the character models that much but the vehicle models the reflections they look gorgeous i mean just take a look at this here take a look at claude driving the car through liberty city Take a look at the original version versus the real version. Look at that, man. It looks stunning. It looks beautiful. And I'm just so happy Rockstar have done this. But, um, yeah, smoother services. Increase draw distances as well, which is absolutely awesome. Now, you can actually increase your draw distance via modding, but sometimes it does crash. Sometimes you can have a couple of issues with it and stuff like that. But take a look at this. I tell you what, I'm going to go in San Andreas right now. I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to try and find out where this place is in Los Santos. So I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to compare it to this screenshot right here. Take a look at that. That is the old version. This is the new version. Take a look at that. Look at how crazy that looks. It's all foggy in the background. There's none of that sun glare, stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. San Andreas is still a beautiful game. I'm not going to disrespect it. <laughs> but this looks absolutely gorgeous in the Unreal Engine. But uh, yeah, there is actually something that gets me a little bit worried here. If you read this article here, originally developed by Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy of Definitive Edition has been adapted to modern platforms by Grove Street Games. Now, Grove Street Games, formerly known as War Drum Studios, are the dudes who worked on the mobile port for San Andreas. Now, that port was absolutely horrible, man. It was horrible. They included more glitches, I'm sure they didn't mean to do that, but they literally made the graphics shinier, they gave the characters a weird little rubbery look, which gave them more glitches. I'm going to leave a video, a two-part video in uh, part one, part two, I'm going to leave two videos in the description below, it's by Vadim M, and he basically shows you everything wrong with the remastered versions. They basically ported it over the phone, then they ported the mobile version over to Xbox 360, and it was just absolutely horrible. And uh, yes, that's who Grow Street Games are, War Drum Studios. So the guys who worked on the mobile port are working with Rockstar on this as well. So that is getting me a little bit worried. But considering Rockstar Games has done most of the work of the graphics and stuff like that, and not War Drum Studios, that does give me a little bit of relief, because, you know, it only says here that uh, the Definitive Edition has been adapted to modern platforms by Grove Street Games. So they're probably going to work on, um, I don't know, maybe... You know what, I don't actually know what the hell they're going to work on, porting it over to the consoles, I suppose. I, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that does get me a little bit right, but hopefully we'll be okay. But yes, players will be able to experience GTA San Andreas a Definitive Edition with Xbox Game Pass starting November 11th. That is awesome. That is f***ing awesome right there. Unfortunately, GTA 3 or Vice City are not going to be on Game Pass, but San Andreas will be on Game Pass, the remastered version. And that actually gets me thinking, will they sell these separately? 
because if you actually go onto the Xbox store as well, it says it's not available right now, but it actually says that you can buy these separately. So maybe, if we're lucky, maybe, you know, if you don't have the whole 60, 55 quid to actually buy the game, maybe, hopefully, you can buy them separately and just work up towards getting the whole free games, you know, when you uh, have enough money for them. But yes, plus, expect to see more fun surprises. This is just some crap about GTA Online. But yeah, if we click on pre-order now, I'm hoping it'll actually take us to the link where you can pre-order it. Okay, it doesn't, but if we go onto the Rockstar Games Launcher, which you already have open, you can actually pre-purchase it for £55. My god, a little bit expensive for a remaster, but oh well. But yes, guys, that is all I have to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, and do consider subscribing if you want to join the family. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I don't know when we're going to get it, man. I don't know when we're going to get to that number. It's probably going to be a while, but we're on the road to it, and I'm excited. And yes, if there is anything I missed, let me know in the comments, and I may or may not do a part two on this video. I might do a little trailer, um, I might do a little trailer breakdown, you know, play it frame by frame and just look at some stuff. But yes, I'm out. Have a good one. I'm excited for this.